Hello and welcome to my video series of Mall Bio Explained in 3 Minutes where I explain a concept of mall biology less than 3 minutes or so. If you haven't yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button. In today's installment, we'll talk about nested PCR. So, nested PCR is a modification of normal PCR reaction that was designed to improve the sensitivity and specificity of this reaction. Nested PCR involves the usage of two set of primers instead of one in a two successive PCR reaction and these kind of modification helps to improve the specificity and sensitivity. So in this video we would understand the mechanism behind nested PCR so stay tuned till the end. Now in any PCR reaction we need to, add, we need to have a master mix and there would be template we mix it together in a PCR tube and then start right. So we would start the same procedure for the nested PCR as well. We'll take the template put it in a PCR tube, then we'll take the master mix and put it in this PCR tube. So this master mix generally has primer pairs, forward and reverse primer pairs, then TAC polymerase, DNTP, buffer and MGCL2. But in this particular nested PCR reaction, there are two primer sets, right? That means in total, there would be two forward primers and two reverse primers. And that has something to do with the specificity. Let me explain how. So let's put these nested PCR reaction in the thermal cycler and try to understand this process. In a general PCR reaction, there would be first step which is denaturation where you have separation of the DNA strands, then there would be primer annealing, then there would be extension of that which would lead to amplification. But along with these specific amplicons, the problem in PCR reaction is sometimes you might get non-specific amplification like shown here with these specific amplicons there are non-specific amplicons as well and in order to avoid non-specific amplicons one way we can go about the situation is to do a nested pcr nested pcr has two sets of primers that i have mentioned earlier so this green set of primers would amplify a region which is slightly more than the region of interest but this red set of primers would be dedicated for the region of interest. So first this green set of primers would act and let's say it would amplify the region shown here. By chance if these green primers also amplify a non-specific product that can be uh, that can be neg uh, uh, negrified in the next round. How? This red set of primers would answer the question. So the red set of primers would be specific to our region of interest. So these red primers would not hybridize with this non-specific amplicon. As a result, in the next set of PCR reaction, these non-specific amplicon would not be amplified and would not com uh, would not contaminate our amplicon. As a result, we'll get specific amplification, and that's the prin principle behind nested PCR, and it is one of the widely used technique in molecular biology labs to get specific amplification. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video, give it a quick thumbs up and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. You can support me in Patreon or you can use your Beam UPI app to support my channel. And you can also take my Unacademy course which is available in the Unacademy app. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.